Welcome to our fifth video of a series of eight videos discussing the most common career mistakes by artists and how to fix them, offering you crucial career advice and insight information on how to be successful in the arts world. In this series, we won't be mentioning obvious ingredients for success as an artist, but we will be sharing specific actions or information to increase your chances for success immediately and exponentially. If you haven't seen our previous video of the series yet, stay tuned until the end of this video to click through to learn and discover more. We are pleased to present you our fifth video of this series. Must avoid art galleries, vanity galleries and contests. First and foremost, my sincerest apologies because I have lost my voice entirely, so hopefully this video will still be bearable to listen and watch too. As a motivated artist who would do almost anything to kickstart his or her career, it is possible you might be tempted to work with a so-called vanity art gallery. These galleries charge the artist to exhibit at their gallery and they promise you they will promote your works and will try to sell them to their clients. The truth is, however, their clients are not art collectors, nor is their business model based on making sales. You, as the artist, are their client, with thousands of artists, if not more, searching to find their way into the art world. Everyone dreams of having an exhibition in an art gallery, but sadly, there are more artists than there are galleries to showcase their works. Vanity art galleries have identified this issue as a commercial opportunity to make a profit, squeezing money out of beginning artists' pockets. In fact, they are not real art galleries at all, as they don't have a curated gallery program. They do not exhibit artists based upon the quality of their works, but on the size of their wallet, and if they are willing to pay to be included in an exhibition. Vanity art galleries have already cashed in on your collaboration as soon as you agree to work with them. Doing so, they are more focused on searching for new artists who are willing to pay to exhibit at their gallery for the next exhibition than they are occupied with representing and promoting the artists they work with during the current exhibition. As a result, with vanity art galleries, most often they don't have a qualitative gallery program, resulting in very few collectors following the gallery, resulting in a smaller chance for sales for the artist once more. Therefore, we strongly advise you to avoid collaborating with these vanity art galleries. So if one day you receive an invitation to work with an art gallery, but they charge you money simply to participate in the show, think twice and be very critical towards their flattering invitation. They will say your works have been accepted followed by a series of compliments on how good you are and they see true potential in you. However, this is a sales pitch. A trick to lure you into becoming a customer for their business with very little possible return for you as an artist. Instead, focus on searching mutually beneficial collaborations. That's why commercial art galleries are the best type of gallery for artists, even though the negative connotation of the term commercial. These commercial art galleries make money when they sell your works. By doing so, they are strongly motivated to sell your works and to promote you. And whatever is good for them will also be good for you. If you want to know more about how to identify these galleries, make sure to watch our video Art Galleries Explained Next or discover the different opportunities and ways to start exhibiting as an artist in our article How to Succeed as an Artist. Another option to kickstart your career and to start exhibiting are, of course, art contests. However, in the past 10 to 5 years, there has been an incredible rise of online art contests, one could refer to as vanity art contests, with a similar strategy as the vanity art galleries. These online art contests are open calls for artists, with an application fee around $25. You can enter an art contest in which they promise you it will attract many interesting eyeballs and collectors and gallerists searching for artists. The truth is, however, that the only people who are interested in or following these contests are other artists who are simply in the same boat as you. 
Yes, there is the possibility of a money prize, but applying for these online art contests can often be very similar to playing a $25 bet in the casino. In the end, the house always wins. Further, with the main objective of these online art contests being to make a profit, they will not invest in selecting a renowned and independent jury panel, because this would drastically reduce their profit margin. As a result, a possible selection for this art contest will mean next to nothing in the art world. However, generally speaking, art contests are a great opportunity for beginning artists. One must first simply be able to distinguish the real art contest from the so-called vanity art contests. We would advise you to only apply for art contests with a long-running history, most often funded by a public institution. Look for art contests in which previous winners or selected artists are now actual mid-career or established artists. And the jury is a panel of experts and renowned figures in the art world, such as curators, critics and other established artists. These art contests will most often have a physical exhibition for all selected artists or for the finalists at the end of the contest. By doing so, applying for such an art contest is not only an opportunity to win a cash prize, but also to have a meaningful exhibition when being selected, which is a great asset to your artist's resume. And in this case, being selected will actually mean something. It is a genuine and official validation from the art world. With these shows by renowned art contests, there will be actual interesting gallery directors and collectors present during these shows who are following up on these renowned art contests very closely which may open doors for new collaborations in the future. To conclude, as a beginning artist you must be very aware of opportunistic entities. Be critical towards every invitation from exhibitions to art contests and make sure your collaborations are mutually beneficial. Stay tuned for our next video in which we will share the next step to being a successful artist building upon the first four videos as stepping stones. In fact, you can already read the other steps in our online article which is the foundation for this video series titled 8 mistakes artists make and how to fix them. Or read our extensive article on how to succeed as an artist. Everything you actually need to know. Also, feel free to have a look at our services for artists on contemporaryartissue.com and of course we are very much looking forward to answering your questions in the comments below so chat soon thank you so much for tuning in today make sure to watch our previous video the fourth video of the series next titled how to price your art support us on patreon and feel free to consider subscribing to stay posted on more contemporary art bye